Oh my gosh, look at this. Wow. What are we so, getting here? This is a typical Albanian hospitality. So even if they don't know you, then you come, you knock on the door, they open the door directly, they don't ask who are you. They say, come inside, you come inside, they start taking a little bit of raki and glico, a special dessert. They give you the glico and the raki and they're after they ask you, who are you and why you came? <laughs> but is it typical for people that just come knock on someone's door? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love this country. <laughs> In 2014, we sold all of our possessions, quit our jobs, and set off as a family for a one-year adventure in Costa Rica. The one year was not enough, so we rolled up our sleeves and figured out how to make this journey continue. We are world towning. Join our family, Largo, Jessica, Avalon, and Will, as we travel the world to connect deeply to local cultures, go on epic adventures, and grow closer as a family. In the last episode of World Towning, after four weeks apart, Jessica's recovery from neck surgery is complete. Before I head back to Europe tomorrow, I am following up with my spine doctor. I feel great, guys, look. And returns the lemonade with Largo in hand. We haven't even taken off yet, and one goes down for the count. And the family is finally reunited. Oh, okay. Don't, just be careful, my neck. <laughs> we missed you. I missed you. Hi. Oh, you grew. Now, with everyone back together, we resume our adventures as a team. To Barat, and uh, what Barat. are we doing in Brat? Brat? Barat? What? Uh, like a Barat? Barat? I don't know. Barat, Albania. This is, you told B -E -R -A -T. me where we're going. B e r a t. Brat. Brat. But in the meantime, we're driving through some of these roads, and there's they're selling it's market day. They're selling like turkeys on the side of the road. Turkeys, I mean, mandarins, guys. The Live turkeys, yes. Live, not dead ones. Does that, no, I don't even... No, turkeys with the brown live? wings, not the white. Yeah, yeah, they were alive. They were alive? Okay, well, check it out. They're like right there. They're wild. They, they're wild turkeys, I think. Oh my gosh. Maybe that they wrangled them up. I don't know. I don't I, really know. We're going to have to ask the people we're staying with tonight to deal with this. And I'm sorry we, we're vague. We don't know, but that's... I'm blown away You by guys are turkeys. burning with us, so... <laughs> Welcome to Barat, the land of a thousand and one windows. And look, they're right back there. Move your head that way, Will. Look. Over there. The problem is that <laughs> there's not really a thousand and one windows. One day, a tour guide was walking around and giving some information about windows. They said it was one on one, and someone said, because like one on top of the other. Lost in translation. And someone said, oh wow, it's a thousand and one windows. No one, no one really counted. And so, although they say it's a thousand and one windows, there's really not. This place has a lot more to offer than that, and we're gonna show you guys everything. Now, just a little bit of facts about Albania. Albania. Albania has three and a half million people that live here, of which 60,000 live in Barat. The language, the most most spoken language here is Albanian, although we've met quite a few people who speak English. And they use the lek as the currency, but also many places except the euro. Now, Albania is located, with, well, the countries that border it are Montenegro, Kosovo, Macedonia, and Greece and we're also bordering on the Adriatic coast. So once upon a time, when we were living in Ecuador, just like when we were infants into this whole travel thing, we decided it would be a really great idea to go spend a weekend with a local family up in the mountains. An indigenous family, and it was fabulous, guys. We Watch out for the poop, Will. Oh, he's pooping now. Oh my God. Very good, Alan. Is this milk gonna taste good? Yeah. Yeah, for the puppies. For the puppies. Oh. We get to drink it too. It was such an authentic, rich cultural experience that now we look for those every place we go. So and this weekend, this is exactly it. what we're doing. We're spending the weekend with an, I guess not indigenous, I guess, but I guess they're local, but an Albanian family, and we're we can't be more excited. 
Our first stop that we're doing here is the King Mosque. Now we're being taken here because this is the oldest living structure, standing structure in all of Bharat. And the, the, the only thing that's been destroyed here since 1490 when this was created is the big turret up on top. I don't know what it's called, but it, the big circular thing where, you know, the, the Amen does the call to prayer. It's amazing. You know, the only reason why it was destroyed up on top was because when the communists came in, they, they said no because of the whole anti-religion thing. They're doing like a whole reconstruction right now. So at this point, um, it looks like this, but inside it looks it looks pretty amazing. So there's no tension uh, so between Muslims and the Christians? So we don't have no tensions between Muslims and the Christians here That's in Vera. fantastic. And especially in all Albania, but Vera is famous for this. Some very nice fact. During 1501, we got three communities here. We got the uh, Jewish, uh -huh. we got Muslims, and we got Christians. So imagine a town on 1501, yeah. three religious, three languages, and three nations. That says because Turks, Greeks, uh, Jewish, Albanians were living here, and all in peace. So if you were coming here, you were not no more Muslim, you were not more Christian, you were just someone from Bera. Because I know we saw them on the side yeah. of the road. Are these wild turkeys? Uh, no, they are not wild. They're not they, wild. Yeah, they are not wild, okay. but people in Albania, they just uh, eat turkey for Merry Christmas and New Year. Really? Especially in Berat, it's a special bread, baked bread with turkey, that we eat it in the New Year Eve. Even my family, we're going to take a turkey. So everyone uh, gets their own turkey. Everyone. And they kill it. Yeah, of course. And then they, I, gr I grew up, I actually, where I grew up in the United and States, we it. killed our own turkey. Yeah, so they eat it, but of course we don't cultivate this our own, so we right. just buy it here. Does it taste um, gamey? Yeah, it tastes like it a tastes wild. wild? Yeah, it okay. tastes wild because they're growing up in the villages. They're really <laughs> big. Yeah, so this is the male. Yeah. And that's the female. <laughs> The okay. more, more tasty is the female. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that, Avalon? Avalon, what would you do if you had a turkey right now? I'd take it out to like the country and let it go. Hey. Can you imagine having a turkey in the RV? Oh my god. Avalon, we can use another pet. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> oh my god, I don't think you can fit through that. I can fit through that. You think so? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, that's tight. Did you just urinate in your pants? No, but I did make wow, it. Wow, that was tight. Oh, but we're in, we're in a castle now. <laughs> wow. Stop. Okay, guys, we gotta pack up. We're getting ready to go. We're staying the night at someone's house. Guys? Wow, they really love their schoolwork. Let me that's finish this exercise. <laughs> Yay, we got Avalon to say that's not funny in this vlog. That's not funny number one. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of RVNN, where we should make a chart saying how many that's not funny is in each video. <laughs> I love that. How many do you think you have to say in each video, Avalon? I don't, Maximum I'm five. Not to say it as much. No, people love it. We love it. It's repetitive. No, it's beautiful. Repetitive, repetitive. It's, it's actually really funny. It's not, you're right. I won't say it. I won't say it. I won't. So we're now entering Barak Castle, and this structure has been around since, well, since ever. Like two, two <laughs> second century BC, and it's been rebuilt and unbuilt and rebuilt again. Okay, let's get to the fun stuff. I mean, not that history is not fun. <laughs> we're gonna have lunch with a local family, and then we're gonna spend the night with a local family. And you guys know how much we love this. I am. I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. I cannot wait. Except for there's no candy. There's and the no kids candy. are a little disappointed. There's no and candy. my neck hurts. <laughs> <laughs> so this castle has a total mass of like nine hectares. So it's huge. And there's 300 houses in here. So this is not like a total castle where you feel like, you know what, this one guy lives here and it's just like massive thing. There's tapestries. No, this it's is a like a whole like, community. It's a whole ecosystem in and itself. Our, and our guide actually grew up within the castle walls. And what they're doing now is a lot of the people are turning their homes or the bottom level of their homes into businesses. And and right now, we're gonna go eat at one of the homes that's been turned into a restaurant. But our guide has told us it feels more like eating in someone's um, dining room with them. And I'm very excited. I'm really excited because she's gonna teach us a little bit about cooking the food too. And, and Mediterranean food and us get along like peas and carrots, or in this case, Jessica like, and Will. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is really cute. Something. I love Just it. Okay, so we are learning how to make pumpkin soup and yeah, let me ask him again. Stuffed zucchini. Okay, stuffed zucchini and, and then what else? Uh, pepper, stuffed peppers. Stuffed peppers. Oh, okay. Stuffed peppers and stuffed zucchini. What's in there? 
It's, it's like uh, vegetables. Tomato, sauce, tomato, tomatoes, peppers, onions, onions. garlic, herbs. Okay. Oh my gosh. And, yum. Uh, yum, yum, yum. And tell her if I'm in her way, she can just push me out of the way. Okay. <laughs> and then basically right through this door is where the bakery is. It's still like a wood-burning fireplace bakery. So this is the wood-burning fire yeah. where he makes all the bread. Yeah, so this is the bread here. Wow. That is done. Only a few breads. For the the bakery is from 300 years, so he got it like generation after generation. His father started it. So how much bread does he make a day? So like a uh, sandwich, when did you buy a piece of bread? Very standard. It's like 60, 70 breads. Yeah. Oh, come to next to me. Oh. Whoa, this looks delicious. Oh la la. Uh, what do you call this? Pispili. That is delicious. So my favorite so far is this zucchini with the tomatoes, onions. What, what's in this? Yeah, thing? this is zucchini with tomatoes. This uh, is so delicious. Check this, this out. Uh, stuff with this kind of oh my gosh. So <laughs> zucchini. This is what we made earlier. Yeah, you stuff it with onion, with pepper, with uh, tomatoes. It depends by the season. You can stuff it with different vegetables. So these are the vegetables love this. that uh, we put inside of the zucchini. It's typical here. It's just like the zucchini we cook in the RV. Mm -hmm. We take zucchini and we slice it, and then we put it in olive oil, yeah. but we could easily do that in the RV. This is nothing like the zucchini we make in the RV. But you can learn it. You can use Are you saying thing. my zucchini in the <laughs> RV isn't good? I'm saying it can be better. <laughs> yeah, it can be better, yeah. Is it a cultural thing where you stay with your mom, yeah. but you don't, you don't leave when you get married then? Yes. Does the wife come uh, to your house? Yes, yeah, so it's like this. Uh, we are very connected with our families. Yeah. Not only with the mother, but with the uncles, with the first cousin, second cousin, and third cousins. Okay. Wow. So our mother, if you need, she needs something, yep. we are close to her. Yep. So this is tradition. It's not like we are mama's boy. Like, right, right, right. We are mama's boy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to take care of your mother too. Yeah. So here, if you're not a mama boy, it's shame on you. I was raised very, very American. Um, and Will, his parents immigrated to the US yeah. um, from Cuba. And that's very, very much um, the culture in Cuba as well. Yeah. So when I first met Will, I was living in a different part of the United States than yeah. him. And he gave me his phone number and I called him. And yeah. his mother answered the phone. I was like, oh, he lives with his mother? <laughs> oh my gosh. She's like a good you cook said, too. <laughs> she is a good cook. Like you said, like in the US, we're like, oh. And, it, and I was like, oh. And then I started talking to my friends who are yeah. Latino, and they're like, just that's a cultural thing. And I knew it was a cultural thing with the Mexicans, but I'm like, with the Cubans too? And they're like, yes, it's a cultural thing. I've said it many times, I know. I would change my ways, I know for sure. When all the crows decide to meet They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on So we're now entering where we're sleeping for the night here in the castle and uh, this is a super cute home It's like it's built into the walls, but if you look inside look at this it is it's like ultra modern. How do you like it? I love it. I want to stay. I don't want to go to Greece. I want to stay here forever. <laughs> and this is a typical home. It's from the 1780, I think. It's ah. Uh, oh my gosh! Look at this. Wow. What are we getting here? This is a typical Albanian hospitality. So even if they don't know you, when you come, you knock on the door. They open the door directly. They don't ask who are you. They say, "Come inside." You come inside. They start taking a little bit of raki and glico, a special dessert. They give you the glico and the raki and then after they ask you, who are you and why you came? <laughs> but is it typical for people to just come knock on someone's door? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love this country. <laughs> it's not, nobody says, oh, who are you? Even if you knock on the door, nobody says who it is. They just open the door and they say, come in, you know? Here's your raki and what's the other thing called? Uh, glico. I'm ready. <laughs> My neck's ready for okay, it. So. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Wait, what is it called? Gazor? Gazor? And does it mean like to your health or good yeah, health? Yeah. Or? Good health. Good health? Good okay. Uh -huh. And after you eat the drink. Here, let's try it. Look. So great. Open up. <laughs> <laughs> Even for me, it's the first time trying yeah. from the car. <laughs> oh, <laughs> How is that, Emma? Yes. That's why you don't ever want to drink. It's I hate liquor. I hate liquor. I hate liquor. <laughs> but the zoo, the one you call pumpkin, it's like long and skinny and green, right? Yeah. That's what we call zucchini. Yeah. 
So is this a typical meal? Like something you would eat for dinner typically? Just, it's very good. How many meals have we had now so far in Albania? We've had two meals in Albania and they both have been awesome. We have the possibility to know different people from all over the world. We can learn from them, they can learn from us. Yes, it's, it's very, fantastic. It's fantastic, yes. <laughs> If we ever stop traveling, I want to do that. <laughs> You want to have a guest house? I do. Right, because after we're traveling and used to seeing and meeting people all the time, it would be hard to stop meeting people, right? So we'll have to, if we stop, then we have to open our doors and have people come to us, right? Is in a stream The ocean call for you And me Still I'm in this game But without my closest friend Good morning from Barat. It is a nice, warm, balmy 80 degrees Fahrenheit. It is so gorgeous here. It, it is not gorgeous here. We're in gloves, but that's okay. It is okay. beautiful though. I'm glad we got up to shoot this morning. It's really, it's cold, but it's stunning with the light and the mountains and the castle. I mean, it's... The place we stayed at is also doubles as an Airbnb and we were able to lock the kids in there. So they, they have like a way they're to get sleeping. in touch with us. Don't worry about everyone. They're, they're going to be okay. <laughs> and um, walking through here as if we were the only ones here because we practically are the only ones it's here. just the people that live here and they're already, they're right. sleeping. Because it's totally off season right now. And uh, it's gorgeous. I love the fact that this is a castle that is a functioning castle. And the fact that people live here and invite us to their homes and the fact that we can sit there and have dinner with them. And dinner, dinner, my goodness, guys. It's met, we're hitting the Mediterranean food and it is good. It's, it's everything vegetable, stuff with vegetables, feta cheese. However, just, just last night, being able to interact with the locals and being able to have conversations and learn about their past and their history and- There's nothing like it, guys. There's nothing, it's not in a book. It's not, it, it is in a book. It's not the same in a book or a documentary. I'm grateful that we're able to sit and share a meal with locals and learn about uh, politics, education, But climate. the coolest part about the whole thing though is that they're just so open and like they, yeah. they loved sharing with us and we just sat there and soaked it all in. There was a very, there are very few times in this world where someone speaks more than Jessica. And <laughs> last night, <laughs> Last night during dinner, they were just like blah blah blah, sharing all of this. Not, not everyone spoke English, so we had someone who was helping us. We had a translator us. helping us. The I neighbor know. came over and translated. How cool is that? And he says whenever they have people come stay with them, that he often will come over and translate for the people that want to really engage and learn more about the culture. And I think that's really special. That was amazing. How do you greet people in um, Albania? Do you kiss on the cheek? Do you hug? Like, what do you do here? Or do you not touch? Yes. You well, shake hands? You yes, shake hands, uh, kissing the cheek. Well, you're getting a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys, Thank you guys so much. Thank it you. was Thank really, you. really nice wonderful. Too. It was a great experience, and we owe it to you for thank for Thank bringing you. us here and introducing us to everyone. Thanks for coming. And I'll give you a hug later because yes. I'm going to still be able to hug a bit. But, um, you have was, to come back in Albania. I want to come back and I wish we had more days. We go explore you know? also Kosovo a little bit and Albanians who are living out. Yeah, yeah. Albania. We're going to find all the Albanians around the world. <laughs> We are wrapping up our time in Albania. It's, it's never, never long. long. <laughs> it's, 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 it's one of those things where we walk in having an idea of what to expect and like anything else when we stay with locals, it always blows our minds away. And what was really cool about this experience was that we did not book through Airbnb to stay with this family that we stayed with. We actually booked through a local guide so the money was going directly to the local economy, which I particularly love. It's not always easy. We often have to use Airbnb to find these types of right. situations. And particularly in a place like this where they're, there's really, they're recovering from an economic downturn which is slowly getting back into normal but 
having the ability to help out locals is just really one of yeah. the things that we love and doing. And I highly recommend this this country, guys. It's really lovely, and the people are lovely. Um, Will and I were cautioned against coming here by several people. They said it was just dangerous. Just a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. And so we, we Will and I tend to do our own thing. We did <laughs> a little bit of research and said, yeah, people are good. We're going to check it out. So... It's been wonderful, and I'm so glad that we didn't listen to other people and miss this experience. Now I have to say, the Albanians, as far as Europeans go, probably are, the nicest people we've met so far. I would say that they're probably the most hospitable we've met so far, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. And that's not to say other people are not. They're just over-the-top hospitable. Um, so, question of the day, Will. What would you do if someone told you not to go to a place? Yeah, would you go? Would you go? Would you just say, okay, without doing my research, I, I, I trust your opinion, or... Would you just say, you know, people are good all over the world because they generally are good all over the world. And I'm going to go. And, and, and we did go. And so, <laughs> so, that is, so that's it. Um, with that, we're saying goodbye to Albania, goodbye to Barat. And next thank up you so much. is Macedonia. Uh, yep. So subscribe, hit that notification button, and we'll see you next time. Guys, we're trying to get to 10,000. And hopefully by the time this video launches, you'll, we'll be at 10,000. And but if you're watching this and, and we'll be on 10,000, just say, of course they're at 10,000. Why wouldn't they be at 10,000? Congratulations. Right. But still tell your friends. Okay, bye. Bye. In the next episode of World Towning, we make our way across to Macedonia. Macedonia! and start to realize that our plan to stay ahead of the snow is not working as expected. How much clothing are you gonna put on, Jess? I don't like the cold. Hey! <laughs> we then head to Greece to visit the home of the gods, Mount Olympus. But the weather was not our friend and Jessica got spooked. You okay? Step aside. I can't go back down there. You can't go back down? What if we just go down slow? No, 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 I have to walk down. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and if you are not already a patron, check out the link in the description below to become part of our growing community and enjoy all the additional benefits that membership has to offer. Largo, what's going on? Mom's snoring. She's so tired. Watch she this. I think you woke her up, Largo. Hey. <laughs>